Hey, it's Clay at claycharter.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Friday, December 9th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around and changing, and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time, but I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late-day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30-minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, SMMT. I think this is the third day in a row. This one's been number one on the list, but this thing just continues to grind and grind. Pretty crazy to think that not that long ago, this thing was right around the dollar mark, now went up over $4. Uh, but the difference here is that finally a pattern has formed. The previous two videos, and I realize this means more to those of you that watch those, there wasn't really anything to comment at in terms of current patterns because the price was flat out breaking out. It was near highs, but we don't have that here. So we actually do have a pattern that we can work with moving forward. And that pattern, let me get a couple lines in play. We, so we have the resistance part of it right there. Have a support part of it down here at 345. Let me change that to green to represent more so a bullish dynamic of the pattern. And then maybe make this all the same color to make it easier to see. So we have our resistance. We have our support. We have the momentum move right there. We have our hold on there to make it a little bit more visual. So our bull pennant for you golfers out there is what this is known as. And while nothing is guaranteed, is it plausible? Is it reasonable to assume that because a lot of people are watching this same exact pattern, that if the price comes up here and gets a break up through it, that that break could create additional upside buying pressure. Once again, that is not a guaranteed outcome, but it's certainly a plausible outcome to consider. So if you like to play this price range, you like bull pennant patterns, here you go. Next one, PHVS, and same general idea here, good solid pattern. Gotta think that a lot of people are watching this pattern, so you can start to bring in those self-fulfilling prophecies where when certain levels break, it's reasonable to think that they could get that much more follow-through because other people are just watching and wondering the same thing. So first level here that gotta think a ton of people are watching, right up there at $12. You can see that twice the price got up to 12, and both times the price was rejected. So as far as a quote unquote pattern breakout, you gotta think that $12 is that, you know, the, the level that eyes around the world will be watching as far as areas of support. And for those that like to play pullbacks, we have this slight little uptrend right here. So again, let me get that changed to green. And then as I did previously, let's just make it one color to make it a little bit more visual. So we have resistance, we have support, we have the big explosion there. We have the golf hole down here. So we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. Uh, probably the biggest difference just being this is at a little higher price level. So it gives you a variety in terms of, you know, if you have certain price ranges you like to play. But yeah, no doubt about it, another good solid bull pennant. Next one, R-E-N-T, rent. And this is where I talked about earlier how S-M-M-T did not really have any sort of patterns the last couple of times I've talked about it. And same here, somewhat sure if you're somebody that likes to play breakouts and I guess you could buy a high of, you know, day breakout right there. Uh, but really besides that, there's nothing a whole lot other, you know, else going on. But what is going on and what makes this important and worthwhile is the idea of a watch list, which is this, to find unique, to find interesting situations and not randomly rush out and buy stuff, but to watch it and see how the price behaves. And ultimately, if it behaves in a way that fits your personal strategy, well, then at that point, you can start to take action on it. But you want to have good, interesting action. And I would definitely consider movements where the price gaps up and then essentially goes straight up with huge, well above average volume an interesting situation that is worth watching. So as far as areas of resistance, again, you can keep an eye on that $2.50 mark. If you like to play more so pullbacks and an interesting level from that angle, gonna be down here right around the two, uh, 205 mark. So keep an eye on those couple areas here, I suppose. And I 100% uh, understand if you would disagree with this because maybe I'm trying to fit a square peg through around here, hole here, but we have resistance, we have support. We have the move upwards like that. So maybe some sort of early stage bull flag pattern, but again, fully understand if you would disagree with that analysis, but that doesn't take away from the fact uh, where you have this key area of resistance and then that main area of support. Next, EXPR, and I like this one because of the, a very well-defined level and just the, the kind of quote unquote story behind the price. So think about it, gapped up, big nasty move down, at that point, uh-oh, is it game over? And no, got a nice bounce, came back upwards, started to pull back downwards here. But as of now, it's looking like a higher base is trying to form, which is good, right? If you have a couple of higher bases here, you now start to have some stair steps occurring in what is still considered a general bullish context due to you know the nature of just how big the gap up was today. Now, this doesn't mean that any sort of continuation is gonna occur, but again, it goes back to, is it at least a plausible, reasonable thought to have? And in my mind, yeah, absolutely. So in that regard, the key level to watch moving forward gonna be right up there around that $1.95 mark. 
Um, you know, with, again, with the idea that there's a couple of higher lows being put into play, if it can work itself, what would be nice is if it came up here, pulled back again for a higher low and then made the move, that could look even better. But would I say that's required? I would not say that. And then in terms of levels of support, definitely seems to be a lot of buyers down around that area at a dollar fifty-five. You can see three separate times the bears try to press down through that level and the bulls did hold strong. Uh, but overall, like I said, I think in my mind, these are going to be the two main levels headed into Friday. Next one, AMC. And this, I guess it is because the bar is so low, but this may sound like the bar is low, but like I said, it is. You know what? Hey, at least it didn't put in a new low. I mean, and going into today, it was just one new low after another, and that actually did not happen. So with that in mind, what we now have is the ability to move up this area of support because it seems as though now this key area going to be right here at that 595-ish area, which at this point you can see once, twice, three times, basically four times, five times now the price is held above that area. Uh, now the market's still open for another six minutes. So I, I guess in theory, the price could come down here and put in a new low, which would not be good. But as of now, uh, it's looking like it finally did kind of get another sideways movement here. So that's the the you know the plus side of things. Uh, on the other side, a little bit of a disappointment that it started off so strong during that opening 30 minutes. But again, the power of charts you can see right here came up to that red line resistance, which I've talked about previously, and then ultimately did find resistance, which knocked it back down. Um, so at the end of the day, maybe some sort of sideways channel is now in the early stages of forming top part of the channel 660, bottom part of the channel right there around that $6 mark. So we'll have to see what you know uh, happens moving forward. But like I said, bar low or not, at least the price did not put in a new lower low today. Real quick, I wanna take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. Now, one special note here, it is a genuine live event. So a couple scenarios. I have five kids, I understand schedules are hectic. So maybe you already have something on your schedule tonight. That's okay. Go ahead, drop me an email because the event will be recorded. I'd be happy to send you a link to it after it's completed. Or maybe you're watching this Friday morning and you just completely missed it. Again, go ahead, drop me an email. I would be happy to send you a link to the event. Now, if you can make it live, I'd love to see you here in just a few hours, but definitely get signed up if you've been enjoying what you've seen. Next one here, CVNA, which has been a train wreck, but we have some interesting action here, which goes back to remember the idea of a watch just to find those interesting situations. What's the interesting action here? Well, we do now have a breakout that's occurred late day. You can see that this little tread line here was forming, but then late day got the breakout here, which prompts a, a very interesting question. And the question becomes, okay, is this the start of something even bigger? Now, to be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this is just some sort of temporary breakout. This thing goes back down. But that is a two-sided coin because, well, I mean, maybe it is the start of something bigger and this thing just keeps ripping and roaring, which is also another possibility. But again, the common denominator here is something unique, something worthwhile has happened. And that's why it's important because, okay, and think about it, lots of stocks, nothing happened. There's no need to even ask questions such as, oh, is this the start of something bigger? Because nothing even happens. But in this situation, you got the breakout. So it all goes to that question, is this breakout the start of something much bigger, especially when this thing's been beat down so much? Let's see what happens. Next one, MOMO. I should have put this one in a different spot in the watch list, uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to fly through it though quickly though, because you understand you've heard me talk about this before, but we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So you get you understand all the talking points about self-fulfilling prophecies and all that sort of good stuff. So just still want to get it drawn up. So we have the uh, bottom part of the pattern right here at about 655-ish, give or take, get that changed to green. We have the top part of the pattern up here, which puts the breakout, you know, give or take right around $7. And then just for visual sake, we'll get the pattern drawn into play right here. So there is the bull pennant pattern. So very nice move, very nice volume consolidation here. And it's one where, you know, you know that people around the world that like to play bull pennants are going to be watching it. So you can potentially factor in that self-fulfilling prophecy. Next one, MYSZ penny stock here. That's looking really, really rough. I'm mean, going to think that at one point the price was all the way up here. And you know, I mean, to think that some people around the world somewhere were buying right there. Hopefully they had a stop loss in place. So yes, this is an ugly looking chart, no doubt about it. But for you long time viewers, you know, I'm going to say there can be opportunity in the ugly. And what makes this very interesting is you have a little clump of supports right around this former breakout point down here at the 17 cent mark. So a couple different reasoning, when levels of resistance, which it was back here, uh, are broken, they tend to act as support. And then you also have the purple line, the 50 period moving average, pink line, 200 period moving average. And you can see that they're all in this general area. Now I gotta be very clear once again, just because all this is occurring does not mean that for sure guaranteed there is going to be a bounce. My point here is it's definitely a reasonable thought to have. So if you like to play penny stocks, if you like to play these situations where things are looking pretty ugly, but 
there could potentially be an area that's you know rational for a bounce then from a risk reward standpoint these things can treat you pretty nice next one here tsla tesla and um, one that i did not trade today but i'm always watching and on that note going to go ahead and adjust this area of support as it seems as though the new key level now to watch very closely moving forward right there at the 169 mark in fact there's basically a double bottom here that formed um, you know, very nicely today. So congratulations to anybody uh, that noticed that you got a very nice bounce. But the other now actually, let me get rid of that level too. it served its purpose. But you got to think that eh, maybe I don't know, as I th think out loud here, maybe this isn't as obvious as the tread line is what I think it is. Uh, but I, in my mind, there's got to be some people that have drawn in the tread line or something very similar, which would put the breakout point right around the 175 mark. So right around 175, you got to think potential self fulfilling prophecy. But the one thing to remember is even with a break of 175, not that far away, you have the 50 period moving average, which a downward slope to it at one six or 176, 75, we'll call it. No, that doesn't mean that it can't break through there. All I'm saying is just because a breakout happens of that tread line doesn't mean that, okay, everything's, you know, blue sky breakout. You know, we, we finally cleared the final hurdle, nothing like that at all. So don't get overly excited. I mean, get excited, but still be skeptically excited. There we go. Be skeptically excited. If that tread line uh, does break, if the price rolls back over, then that's where once again, that 169 mark comes into play. But overall, interesting pattern here on Tesla. And I know I'll definitely be paying very close attention to it on Friday. Next one, TQQQ, which is a most popular ETF out there, always gets the most volume and allows you to uh, you know, play the, play the NASDAQ as a market. What do I mean? Well, if you believe that the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise in value, then you could buy this one at a much lower price point, which is why it's so popular. Uh, but overall, I did this one yesterday, and first thing I wanna do is adjust this trend line up, which you can see actually presented a very, very nice buying opportunity this morning. So based on that trial line that I drew, so again, quick plug, the power of charts, get signed up for the class or drop me an email. But think about it. Drew that trial line yesterday. People had the opportunity as it pulled back to buy at the trial line there and look right where it bounced from. I mean, are charts perfect? No, nothing is perfect. But I mean, they're, they're definitely a tool worth more, uh, learning more about. Uh, but point here being is that's going to be the main area of support moving forward. So continue to watch that trial line. And then as far as areas of resistance, well, again, surprise, surprise. And this will mean more to those of you that watch the previous video, but it talked about 2135. And you can see that 2135, maybe not exactly to the penny, but certainly generally speaking, I mean, presented problems, presented problems, and then presented problems right there. The good news is, is the price is still well within striking distance of it. Uh, so, you know, reasonable to think that the price could push up through 130 or, uh, 2135. If it does, then like uh, Tesla, we just talked about, don't get, oh, be skeptically excited because not that far up above is then going to be that 200 period moving average valued at 2180. But all in all, nice day today, nice bounce off that tread line. So we'll see if this uptrend can continue on Friday. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to do a couple of things. Either drop me an email at clay at claytrader.com because it will be tonight, Thursday, December 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you have something on your schedule or watching it Friday morning, like I said, drop me an email because it will be recorded. All I ask is a little patience because it is a live event. So it's first got to happen, then I got to get it uploaded and then I'd be happy to send you a link to it. But if you can make it live, then hopefully I'll see you here in just a few hours. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, then do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment below. Say hi, tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But thanks for watching. Take care, have a good one and get signed up for the class.